Hi guys, BTech here. Today, I'm gonna show you how to undervolt your laptop GPU and get better performance and lower temperatures. To get the best performance out of this system, I'm going to use the cooling pad on its maximum setting and monitor connected to laptop, since it bypasses the integrated graphics. If you want to see how much performance you will gain using a monitor, check my video about it by clicking this pop-up button or the link in the description. So let's get started. So first, I'm going to run a benchmark on default GPU settings. If you want to know how to unlock AMD laptop GPU drivers, click on this pop-up button. To measure the temperatures I'm gonna use MSI Afterburner. So let's start the game. Hold test here, going to keep at 1080p original settings. Let's start the benchmark. In default laptop settings, you can see GPU is taking about 80 watts of power and slowly creeping up to 85 Celsius of GPU temperature. CPU is at 93 Celsius throttling limit. So in the end of the benchmark, we got 78 average FPS. The maximum GPU temperature I've seen is 85 Celsius. Now let's undervolt the GPU a bit and see how it will affect the performance and temperatures. So if you have Nvidia graphics card you can do undervolting by MSI Afterburner. Open it and hit Ctrl key plus F key. This will open up the undervolting menu. So in here I have three undervolting frequency points. Your points may vary according to the GPU. You can adjust the voltages on these points. Slightly reduce the voltage and run the game to see whether there is any visual artifacts. Do this couple of times and remember the voltage numbers, otherwise the game will crash, and it will reset the voltage values and you will have to do it again. If your laptop has a AMD dedicated GPU you can do it on adrenaline software. But first you will have to unlock it. Click on this pop-up button or use the link in the description to see how to unlock AMD Adrenaline software. After unlocking the software, you can access this tuning section. From here, you can tweak GPU voltage power settings and overclocking status. Now you can undervolt the GPU same as from MSI Afterburner. Now I will undervolt my GPU. This I've already undervolted presets, so I'm going to apply it now and let's see how it will perform. Now the game is running at the same settings as previously. You can see the GPU power and temperatures are the same as the last run. But the average FPS is improved to 83 average FPS compared to 78 FPS on previous run. Now if you want even more performance from your device, you can maximize the power budget to the GPU. But this will result in greater temperatures. Now let's test it. As you can see now, the GPU is hitting 95 watts of power but also the GPU temperature is now on its throttling limit at 91 Celsius. But now the average FPS is even higher. 84 average FPS on this run compared to 81 FPS on previous run. It gains more than 10% performance compared to the default GPU settings just by some software tweaking. But if you are uncomfortable of higher temperatures, you can limit the GPU power. Here, I have limited the GPU power to 65 watts. This will greatly reduce temperatures without sacrificing much performance. Also all the presets that I've made for this device can download from the below link. As you can see, GPU hasn't surpassed the 65 watts of power. This results in lower GPU temperatures. It hits maximum of 80 Celsius compared to previous 85 Celsius. But also as a result, this gave us lower performance. 
75 average FPS compared to 77 FPS on default settings. It's not bad for power consumption. Throughout the all testings, you can notice that CPU is always at throttling temperature limit. To avoid that, we can lock the CPU to base clock and get lower temperatures. For that, first go to control panel and create a new power plan. Like this. I will name it low temp. Now, after creating, click on the change plan settings and go to power management. Look for there is a toggle to control the processor boost state. If there is no such option, follow me. First open registry editor and paste this path. I will leave it in the description. Alternately, you can follow these paths as well. Now here, double click on this attributes file. This will open a value editing window. From here, edit the value data 1 to 2 and press OK. Now close the registry editor and go to the power options again. Now you can see there is a new option called processor performance boost mode. From default, it will set to aggressive. You need to change this to disable. Press OK and save changes. Now let's launch the game. Now I will apply the regular undervolt option, which previously gave us 81 average FPS. Now as you can see the CPU clock is locked at 2900 MHz. And the CPU temps are now not stuck at 93 Celsius. Now it's at 87 Celsius. And this also causes dropping the GPU temps as well. Now it's on 82 Celsius. So that's it for this video. If you find this video useful, please help me by subscribing and hitting the like button. And as always, thanks for watching.